tragedy of... The review of Metallic Hall in gas? No. I thought not. It's another story that... Owner of this channel... ...could tell you. Ty did a review of Metallic Hall in gas and he thought it was pretty good. Unfortunately, something terrible happened to him regarding the review. What happened to him? Well, he worked very hard on the review. The only thing he was afraid of was... ...losing his... ...footage. Which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately... He accidentally deleted the footage of the review. Is it possible... ...to see this review? No. Now he has to re... ...do it. Yeah, guys, Chancellor Palpatine is right. Unfortunately, earlier today, I reviewed Metallic Hall Ingas here, but I accidentally deleted the footage. Um, I've done this in the past by complete accident. It was, of course, an accident this time as well. Um, I did it with Ice Racer Vitaly Petrov, and I did it with Rip Plutchkonsky and Thailand Cars 1 and Cars 3 McQueen. There were going to be a whole comparison video, but unfortunately, I lost the footage for, for all of those past reviews. And then I ended up not even reviewing any of those cars. Well, I later did Rip Clutch Gonski in the 25 Days of Suggestions, but I never reattempted a regular review of him. But in the case of Metallic Hall Ingas, this guy is brand new. He just came out a few months ago. And I don't want to pass up an opportunity to review a new car that I got who's a new 2020 car. Unfortunately, though, the experience of me opening and reviewing a brand new car just won't be the same with the car already open. Unless... Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another review. Today, for the first time ever, I'm going to be taking a look at Metallic Hall Ingas. I'm super excited to be reviewing this brand new car that I am yet to open, of course from the 2020 Scavenger Hunt series. So, you know what? Enough talking. Let's get started with the review of this brand new, never before opened car. So excited to review this guy, not just because he's brand new and hasn't been opened yet, but also because this is actually the first review I've done all month. Of course, if you guys have been following my channel lately, I've been doing my whole new video November thing where I've been trying to diversify my content, and of course I am still doing that all throughout this month, trying a bunch of new, different, uh, and returning older video ideas. Um, but of course, when I get a new car, I still have to review him. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am reviewing this car for the first time. Yep. Um, so as you can see here on the packaging, we've got this artwork of Hall Ingas and the special metallic edition logo there. Got the name tag down there, series logo there. Now Hall here definitely wouldn't be my first pick for a car from the Dynaco 400 series and the Scavenger Hunt series. Uh, at first, when I first saw pictures of him online, I thought he was a bit too similar to the metallic Ryan Shields from last year, but now that I've seen him in person and in the package, which is how he has always been, I've got to say I do quite like him with that metallic purple. It's pretty unique. We don't get that many metallic purple cars. Moving on to the back, you can see special metallic edition with metallic Union Jack Ramon, metallic Cal, metallic Jonas, and metallic brand new Mater. I have these two, but not these two, and I really hope to get uh, metallic brand new Mater soon because he is uh, He seems to be pretty similar to the Pixar fast Mater which has ended up being one of my favorite cars released this year So now let's get Paul here out of the package for the first time ever So excited to be opening this car and reviewing him for the first time first time out of the package right here right now All right so here is Hall out of the package, and the first thing I'm noticing with this car, who I have just unboxed for the first time ever, is the expression. It's definitely a bit off, because it's actually different from the expression on the regular Hall in gas. As you can see, this guy is squinting with both his upper eyelids and lower eyelids. He's also looking off to the side a bit, but Metallic Hall in gas isn't. He's just looking straight forward, and he... Just looks kind of like, he looks kind of fed up is probably the best way I could explain it. Um, now I have looked into this. At first I thought it was just my haul that had a different expression, but it is every version of him. This isn't an error unique to me. This metallic haul just has a different expression than his regular variant for some weird reason. I really like what they did here. Of course, as per usual, only one color is metallic. Um, and for Hall, it's this base purple color, which is much closer 
uh, ironically, on the metallic variant to how it should be in the movie compared to on the regular diecast where it is definitely a bit too light. Look at that. That is way too light. Uh, this guy is definitely a closer shade of purple, although it is a metallic purple. Anyway, though, as I was saying, just this base purple color was made metallic, um, which means that these stripes here are allowed to sort of stand out with this metallic background. I think it looks really interesting. Of course, we've got the retread logo, tire deodorant, roll on with a little uh, ball of deodorant there. Of course, retread was one of the sponsors that didn't return for Cars 3. On the side, as you can see, we've got more of these uh, zigzag stripes going across the side with the metallic color on the background. I really can't think of any other metallic cars that are similar to this, where you have these like stripes going across the side with the metallic color behind it. It's pretty unique to haul. Um, you can see his secondary sponsors are the usual ones, Nitrate, Piston Cup, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leak Less, uh, Retread for some reason, and Clutch 8. Of course, that's the same on all of the cars, I'm pretty sure. All the Piston Cup cars, aside from the main characters. We've got his 79 up on the roof. Like how these white and red stripes carry over all the way across the car. Got the retread logo back there by the gas cap, which unfortunately isn't colored in, but it's not colored in on the regular variant either. Got the retread logo on the back, and also back here um, alongside more of that red and white design and the 79 on his back light. There is the other side, and there is the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and remember... The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Bye now.